this is a Bowman E101 which is the wood, wooden base version of the more common M101 I've had an M101 for many years in fact it was one of the earliest uh, acquisitions for my collection so I eventually decided I'd like to have an E to go with it so when, when one came up on eBay for a reasonable price I went for it Now this uh, piston is not actually as big as it looks, it's actually enclosed in a, an outer covering which looks impressive but uh, it makes it difficult to oil the, the piston and the port face. You just have to rely on the drip feed. Now this is a, an enormous boiler, holds, it holds about 500 millilitres of water and an equally massive burner tank. Um, it goes for, for ages while it's running but it also takes a long time to get up to, uh, up to steam. So for the purposes of this video I've only about half filled the boiler and the, uh, and the burner. So hopefully it won't take quite so long to get up to steam. In fact that's about it. Well, almost. No, not quite. That 
it. It's a very powerful engine. This is running with the, uh, with the throttle half closed at the moment. I open it up fully. Go quite fast. But so it's got this massive. Gear driven by a small pinion on the shaft there, and it's quite a large cylinder, not quite as big as the uh, outer covering there, but it is fairly large. I can't remember the actual figures, but it does have a fair amount of power. The Bowman. I uh, actually ran a, an advert on one occasion showing one of these engines driving a full-size sewing machine. I've actually done a similar experiment myself but only with a, a toy run, a toy sewing machine. Because of this uh, massive flywheel here, it actually weighs about a pound, so I'm told. I haven't actually measured it. Um, it will, in fact, run down to quite an impressively slow speed. Not quite that slow, though. 